Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Major League Baseball on tap. It's the New York Mets taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. And we'll be back with the first. All right, ready to go here. Here's Brandon Nimble. Now two balls and a strike. Oh, he's a bad ball hitter, so even if you get him to chase pitches outside the zone, he still might beat you. Not an easy out by any means. Left field. Hernandez settles underneath it. One up, one down. And now here's Jeff McNeil. The MO for him is contact. A guy who's going to deliver average, not a ton of power. He's looking to hit a line drive somewhere. Y'all, that's why it's a team. And when you look at a lineup, he's a great two-hole hitter or a guy that you could put at the bottom yeah. to help turn that lineup over to have some momentum for your top hitters coming up to the plate. Now up to hit, Francisco Lindor. Late with the swing there. Threw that fastball right by him, slightly right. elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Now, Mookie Betts. Betts can claim something not many players can. He's won the World Series playing in the National League and the American League. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a miss as he was out front. This guy's got such a good sinker. As a hitter, you've got to look up in the zone. If you look down, you're going to be chasing stuff in the dirt. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Kicks and deals. That's a laser base hit. So a man on base to start the inning. That is the designated hitter. Here's Shohei Otani. And the pitch. That one fouled off. And here it comes. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Betts gets his lead at first with nobody out. Next pitch is outside. Still just the second batter of the inning. And on the mound, he's already thrown 13 pitches. They've got him working hard out there. In the dirt, blocked. And the runner holds. At the belt and fires. And that's ball uh -oh. four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a run. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. No outs, runners at first and second. The one, two. Out to short. Dives, but it's off his glove. He decides to hold on to it, and everyone's safe. The bases are loaded. Bases loaded, nobody out. And up to the plate is Will Smith. The 1 1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. And now the lefty. Good job to fight that one off. 
You need a strikeout and you need a ball perhaps on the ground for a double play or get yourself a pop up something but you've got to make some pitches. But if he can That's battle and get through this he can earn some points. Up and in. That's full three and two. This is a situation where the hitter is looking for something up in the zone that he can get his arms extended. Which he Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. out. And that is a big first out. Max Muncy at the dish. All loaded up. Dangerous hitter at the plate. And that is cut on the miss. And a count one and two. He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. Left-hand hitter waits. And another ball. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Two outs. Just missed. In the air, left field, down the line, and that's a foul ball. That one down the line, oh. and that's just foul. 2-2 Two -two now. Hard hit, base hit. One runs in. Another comes in to score. Around third. The relay to the plate. And they clear the bases. 3-0. Well, that breaks the tie in a big way. Clearing the bases. Pretty much a model swing on that one as he ripped it into the opposite field gap. And I'm sure he's going to be watching that one back on video because that's the kind of swing you want to bottle. So many positives that led to that knock. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. Inning ends, and that stops the bleeding. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and now it's the polar bear, Pete Alonzo. Alonzo. Hard grounder into the outfield for a knock. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Batting fifth, the right fielder, right number six. Here's Starling Marte. Marte. The pitch. Swings through that one. One ball, two straight. The pitch. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Great swing and solid contact. Just a little too quick. He's got to stay back a little longer. Hit on the ground might be two. The throw to He's second. Out. How about that double play? As a former player, watching 5-4-3 double plays brings back some adrenaline. It's such an exciting play, and it's always a great reminder of baseball being such a team sport. Swing and a miss. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his oh. fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. And that one is lifted in the air. Hernandez sizing it up. Makes the grab, and that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Kike Hernandez. Hernandez. Two, one. And another ball. Next offering is in for a strike. So 
runner aboard to start the inning. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked enough. himself into a good the count. Three. Just a solid yeah, swing yeah. right there. Caught it out front yeah. and lifted it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel. Here goes the runner. Fouled off to the right. Nobody out. Runner at first. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Upstairs. Three balls. On the ground left side. Six. Four. Three. And they turn the double play. Now it's Mookie Betts. I think the attack right there, and usually the hitter wins that battle after seeing so many pitches, but instead the exact opposite, or maybe even worse than that, grounds into a double play. Tough at bat to swallow. Next offering upstairs. And down on strikes. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Here in L.A., all set for the start of the inning. And stepping in for New York, Francisco Alvarez. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it. Gigantic blast. It's 3 1. Now the third baseman, Brett Beatty. The wind of the pitch. Good eye in that spot. Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The other way, and that's a base hit. Batting up, the center field. And now Bader up to the plate. The 1 1 is fouled off. The Dodgers leading by two. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. I'm so glad Yamamoto made the move to Major League Baseball. He's one of the most decorated pitchers to come out of Japan and finished his Nippon professional baseball career in style. Fouls it off, still one and two. Facing elimination and pitching in game six of the Japan series, Yamamoto pitched a complete game with 14 strikeouts and broke the series strikeout and record ball. held by Yu Darvish. What a way to go out. The pitch. And, and another ball. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. Jeff McNeil stands in. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Baden at second. Nimmo at first. One gone. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Now it's Frankie Lindor. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The shortstop takes the ball. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. First and second, two down. 
Now a fly ball to right center. On the move. He's got it. And that is that. That drops foul. He's like Mike Trout. You figure whatever you put in his hand, whether it's a bat, whether it's a golf club, whether it's a basketball, he can do it and get it done. And a rare talent, so much fun to watch. He takes it on his own. Leadoff man retired the here in the baby, third. Number five. Here comes Freddie Freeman Freddy. up to hit. Freeman. One down, base is empty. Bounce to the left side. Toss to Alonzo. And Freeman is retired. Now back. Two Look outs, base is empty. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. The 1-1. One -one. And there's a ball. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it would be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Swing and a miss. And we're back as we go to the top of the fourth. Leading off, Pete Alonso. Alonso. And a pitch. And strike two. He's been pitching well, but we'll see what kind of adjustment the hitters make this second time through the order. We'll know if he's got really good stuff in this one or not. Fights that one away, still one and two. Alonso checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. Didn't go. Righty delivers. Swing and a miss struck him out. Starling Marte up to him. And another ball. This to third, and it ends up hitting the base. Can't pick it up with the bare hand. Safe at first, no play. We'll see how they score this. Now it's DJ Stewart. DJ Stewart. Left hand batter waits. No. That misses the zone. And that's ball two. Marte leads off first with one away. That one misses. And now it's three and two. Hard hit left side. There's one. And their second double play of the day will end the fourth. Bottom four, here comes Max Muncy. In there for a strike at the bottom of the zone. It was bumpy in the early going for the lefty. But he settled into a really nice groove. The pitch. Wouldn't no, chase that time. Oh. That's down and in. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Three, two on the way. Broken bat, and it's popped up. Safe at first as they can't make the play. The bat, the center center field. Field. So a man yeah. aboard. Here's the center fielder, James yeah. Outman. Great 
oh, the mark there. Right. And it's three and two. The pitch. Ripped to third and caught. It's never fun going back to the dugout after hitting a line drive that finds a glove, but you will get some high fives. You know, when you make great contact, you feel like you've done everything right. But in this game of baseball, not everything is in your control. Here comes a pitch. Slapped hard the other way, but foul. Here's a one-two. And a curve misses outside. It's a good take. On the ground and foul ball. Right side. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Oh, he didn't get much of that one, but it's going to look like a line drive in the box score. Yeah. He clearly didn't catch that one on the big part of the bat. Just kind of muscled it out there. And you know, on the mound, it can be pretty frustrating for a pitcher, but you just kind of have to expect those to drop in there sometimes. The 2-2. Two -two. And down on strikes he goes. And there's two down. And up next for Los Angeles, Gavin Lux. Laboring here. About to throw his 30th pitch of the inning. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Two on, two outs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. Payoff pitch. This one in the air right field. Marte brings it in for the third out. I got my lesson to get the blessing for the bread dread. The bread dread. Bread dread. The bread dread. I got my. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. And now the count is even. He missed the zone, but I don't think he missed his spot. That was a good pitch with two strikes. Comes the 2 2. Gets a piece and stays alive. Here's a 2 2. Now he breaks his bat. He makes the grab, one away. And next for the Mets, Brett Beatty. The bat, the third baby, Brett Beatty. One down, base is empty. That one the other way. Throw on to Freeman, and the first two set down to the top of the fifth. Harrison Beatty will hit next. Just missed. The Dodgers up by two, and we're at the top of the fifth. That misses the zone. Three and one. Here's an opportunity to do some damage and perhaps unlock this offense. Three one count. Be ready to turn on a fastball. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Hernandez makes the play, and that'll do it. Now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Phil Bickford. Well, I got to think he probably has a little extra in the tank facing his former team, and there's not a player in the league that doesn't get a little extra motivation when he plays against his old squad. And now it's Mookie Waiting Betts. Well, you well, always have to be careful in these spots because Mookie is yeah. lethal in the leadoff spot. He has the most multi-home run games out of the leadoff spot in baseball history. 
Line drive, base hit right field. And the leadoff man aboard. Now that the designated hitter. Shohei Otani steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One ball. He's great. Bets on at first. Nobody out. In the dirt. Runner holds tight as the count moves to two and two. Got him looking for the K. He's got to be frustrated with that call. And next for L.A., Freddie Freeman. Man at first, one away. And that's outside. And a count, two and one. And another ball. And the right hander deals. Comes up empty. That's strike two. I think he was sitting off speed there. Down the line. Nimmo ranging after it. Nabs it. Next up, the Dodgers catcher, Will Smith. Two outs. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Off balance throw in time. And that is that. Back here at Dodger Stadium, all set for the top of the sixth. Here's the Mets' leadoff man, Brandon Nimmo. Here's a 1-1. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. That smash towards center. And takes it in for the out. And there's one down. Here's the second baseman, Jeff McNeil. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. And a strike on the outside edge. Yeah, his swing is so good. It's in the zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. When you look at the elite teams in the game right now, there is going to be the slug no question about it but the really good offensive teams combine slug with more contact with less swing and miss that's the third two quick outs to open the top of the sixth here's Francisco Lindor now that the line of the pitch well, just about to hit that century mark. 100 pitches for this game. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And the Mets go 1 2 3. Back here in LA, here's a big power threat Max Muncy. And the righty deals. Swung on, belted. That's back there. And it's gone. He'll circle the bases. It's 4-1. James Outman steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground to the left, and it goes just foul. Oh, he just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The punch out there, 
And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The 1-1. One, one. Right through there for a strike. One out, base is empty. On its way to the corner. And no one can get to it. It's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Got it. Two out. Here's Kike Hernandez. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss there. He has a tendency to chase out of the zone, and that slider that's down, that's one of his money pitches to get that swing and miss. Got it by him for the K. <laughs> Top of inning number seven, and stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. The first base Pete. The 2-1. That one ripped. That's got a chance. Leap in, and he brought it back. And now the right fielder, Starling Marte. Ripped on the ground a second. Lux throws the first in time. And two away to start the seven. And now the Mets DH, DJ Stewart. The Dodgers leading by three here in the top half of inning number seven. And another ball. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. It's so impressive how the velo is still there even this deep into the outing. And there's a base hit into left. So a two out knock keeps the inning alive. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely. So they turn things over to the righty, Rustar Grotterol. Runner at first with two away. Francisco Alvarez up now for the Mets. And, and it is two and one. Stewart, the runner at first with two gone. Foul ball there. That misses, and the count's full. Okay. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. That one down the line. That's a base hit. Lead runner around second. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Back-to-back -back singles. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Next to hit, Brett Beatty. Tying run at the plate. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Sizes this one up. Brings it in for the third out. Back here at Chavez Ravine, set for the last half of the seventh. The now it's the second baseman, Gavin Lux. Right-handed reliever. Inside, almost got him. Fly ball down the line, and that will drop foul.
2 2 now. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Mookie Betts steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Base is empty, one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. The shortstop takes the ball. Two balls, one strike. Wouldn't chase that time. One down, base is empty. And that's too high, ball four. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Shohei Otani now at the plate. And another ball. That one misses. And now three and one. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good Walk discipline. Ball. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. Second walk of the game for him, and he's been really the patient at the play. The game plan that he's sticking Ready. to is just not going outside three of what he's three. looking for up there. Two on, one out. at first and third. Will Smith steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Kicks and deals. Fall off foul. I want to start that load a little bit sooner because of the good velo. Got him swinging. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Max Muncy. Muncy. Here's a 1 1. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Corners are occupied with two down. Oh. Next pitch misses, and it's 2 and 2. Hey. And a swing and a miss, and that's that. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Alex Vesia. And he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. And now the center fielder, Harrison Bader. The 1-1. That one missing inside. Well, these Mets, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've already seen eight line drives from them, and it's always a good sign when the ball is jumping off your bat. And that's what this offense has been doing so far today. Now back, let me. Brandon Nimmo up now for the Mets. Slider misses outside. There's a strike, 95 of that one. If you want to get something going, this is the time to do it. You get the leadoff man on. Everybody's got to look over the shoulder and say, I'm just going to keep the line moving. Don't try to do too much. Hernandez makes the grab. Met at first. Now bad, bad. And now Second it's going to be Jeff McNeil. Yeah. Bader, McNeil. the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Next pitch is downstairs. Two and one. Now snap throw to first. Right. And he's back in safely. And 
And a 2-1 on the way. Now this is in the air down the line. And that's a foul ball. Swings, throw it in, that's a strikeout. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. The Dodgers leading by four, and we're in the top of the eighth. Got him on the off-balance throw. That's out number three. And we're back, bottom of the eighth. And here is James Outman. And the pitch. Oh. And he chases that one. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. And up next for Los Angeles, Teoscar Hernandez. And a swing and a miss. One ball. He's great. Off the outside edge, and now the count is two and two. One down, base is empty. That one a little bit high, and the count is filled up. Boom. I'm not sure how he took that right there. I mean, that was an incredible two-strike pitch. Righty to the plate, and they'll do it again. Three, two. Swings over the splitter for strike three. Now Two outs, base is empty. Enrique Hernandez getting ready to hit. But you want. That one ripped, but foul. Two outs. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Back, it's the top of the night, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Daniel Hudson. This Here's Pete Alonso. All to strike. The pitch. And a strike. Cold night tonight, Borg. And that's a pretty firm fastball right there. I tell you what, memories of getting jammed, they creeping into my mind. Hey. Got it by a Florida K. He's two outs away. So up next for New York, Starling Marte. The Mets down by four here at the top of the ninth. That's to third. Gets to him with a slide. Fires to first, and they get the out. DJ Stewart up now for the Mets. DJ Stewart. So a foul ball makes it one and two. A little early on that fastball. I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Hudson is just one strike away. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. Two down, nobody on. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had him one, two, and he ends up hitting them with a pitch. Here's the catcher for the Mets, Francisco Alvarez. Next offering is fouled back. 
He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. That Ball. one almost got him. season ticket holder you just come to a couple of games a year to see your team win at home there's just something special about that good job by this team to get it done for the hometown fans 5-1 is how it ends Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB the show I'm John Shambi we'll see you soon